Hi, this is Katie Umanya for Texan Army TV. We're here at outside of Robertson Stadium uh, getting ready for our home opener against the Columbus Crew. This week on Texan Army TV, it's opening day at Robertson Stadium where the former MLS champions Houston Dynamo hosts the current MLS champions Columbus Crew. Plus, the Texan Army is back in Section 231. On this episode, interviews with the Dynamo on their thoughts on the game. Then we kick it off to Ray Gallegos for a game recap and much more on Texan Army TV. Chris, can you uh, talk about the goal you assisted on and how it came about? Yeah, uh, Pat Onset played a great ball and uh, you know, Ching had a pretty good movement. We linked up 1-2 and then uh, made a good run behind Chuck Marshall and uh, put it behind him and uh, had a great finish just cut the right side post. Felt so, good, didn't it? First oh. assist in a couple of years. Yeah, absolutely. It felt, felt great to uh, you know, get on the board and get a lead. And so uh, yeah. it definitely felt really good. Great timing on that play. How about uh, the header that you missed in the first half? But tell me about how that came back to Han a little bit. Yeah, definitely. That definitely came back to Han. I uh, also had one in the second half, uh, just put it down, put it wide of the post, and uh, I need to get those on frame, uh, I need to finish those, period, and uh, you know, that's why it definitely hurts even more, because uh, those are two really good chances, so uh, need to put away. Yeah, you know, I think we started out a little timid, uh, we kind of picked it up in the second half, and then uh, took our foot off the gas once we scored, and uh, a little disappointing, you know, we are a team that likes to pride ourselves that when we do go up, uh, we like to keep the lead, and one of our goals this season was not to let uh, the other team score in the last uh, 15 minutes. Um, you know, we were one of the lowest in the league in that category, so not off to a good start in that department. But having said that, it was a good fight. Uh, played hard, uh, you know, and I think uh, maybe our preseason form kind of, you know, kind of crept up in on us. I don't think we had the best preseason, but you know, I don't think we're far away from, from uh, you know, getting back into uh, form. Could you elaborate what things you liked about the team? What things are are, are missing? I think just a little bit of sharpness as far as passing, you know, uh, uh, you know, I think the fight's good, the fight's always good with this team, you know, a team that doesn't like to lose, but, you know, I think uh, maybe just the men mentally just not as sharp as we'd like to be at this point in time, but, uh, you know, I think that'll come, it's a good game to build off of, uh, they are the defending champs, and uh, disappointed, like I said, but, uh, you know, it's, it's something to build off of. Uh, start off for you with the right foot, and score, and it's great for you. Yeah, I scored a goal, but, you know, in the big scheme of things, uh, I'd rather win. So, uh, disappointed with the result. Um, you know, happy to get on the scoreboard. Didn't uh, score too many goals this preseason, so uh, to get one in the first game, uh, hopefully give me a lot more confidence to uh, carry on through the season. Could you talk about that goal, about winking up with Wando like that? Uh, I think I passed the ball to Wando, didn't I? And then continued my run on through, I don't know. Anyway. Wando made a great through ball. Uh, you know, I think the weight of the pass, uh, you know, the angle of it, everything was perfect with it, and uh, left me just uh, me and the keeper. And you know, I was uh, fortunate to be the keeper. What part of the supporters group are you up there? Uh, part of the crew union. Crew union. Uh, I want to ask, what do you think of the of the uh, atmosphere in Houston? Uh, I, I know you guys have good atmosphere here, but just want to get your thoughts. Atmosphere was good. They had uh, two supporters groups on opposite ends of the stadium. I like that. There was constant noise. It was good. Did you get harassed or everything was okay? Harassed, not at all. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Everyone is, yeah. So you had a good time here in Houston? I had a great time. So, Ray, how does it feel to be back at Robertson? It was great. It was great to be back in 231. Uh, obviously, the Atlanta game, that was the end of the 2008 season. This is the beginning of the 2009. Uh, it was strange. How strange was it not seeing Dwayne De Rosario out there? It was, you know, he was, he was one of the key members of this team since it's re relocated from San Jose. So it was difficult not seeing him out there. But I think the Stuart Holden era got, a, got off to an okay start. Uh, you know, it's talking to Stu, it didn't sound like he was too happy with his performance, but he's the type of player that always wants to improve, so uh, I think he'll be okay as the season goes by. The Dom did say in the post-game uh, conference about the field conditions. Uh, the field conditions actually were not very uh, good, and if, uh, if you look at the replay on television, you will see several spots where sand was being kicked up uh, uh, in several parts of the field, and obviously that's not good, and like Dom said, it does affect uh, the, 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 the condition of play. Uh, because uh, the, the Dynamo's game is passes and when you're not able to get a good uh, pass off because of the field, that obviously uh, affects it. Now, what was most surprising is uh, Je the Jeff Cameron start in the back. Obviously, Julius James is available as a natural defender, but Coach Dom preferred to go with Jeff Cameron. And we were in the pr 
post press conference where Dom said that he was actually really happy with Jeff Cameron. Interested in joining the Texan Army? Contact us at texanarmy.org. See you at the South End. This is non usable on YouTube. Parental content. <laughs>